happened? Oh, yeah. you don't even want to know. But where's the CEO? He dead. <laughs> Okay, alright. So, what exactly am I supposed to do? Because there's like nowhere to go. See, I thought onto that. Apparently, that's wrong, though. Got right in my fucking way. Soldiers above us to battle. Really? We've got to hit her. You guys are still fighting us with all this bullshit that's going on. back there. Isn't it? Are you okay? What happened? Oh, Wait, you don't even want to know. We found something that will help. Not just your homeland, but everywhere. He's gone. I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. I see. You must think I'm eminently stupid. He tried to escape and he died. No, no. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But we really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it, then use it. Now, if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go. And then take credit when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. 
It seems then that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please. But Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. We got another person, yay. Fair enough. Thebes is of no for the I just realized that his Obviously, he's got the Wi-Fi signal. To the flotilla. Alva. I expect your reports to be thorough. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Var will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. This was a mission. Now that I have Omega clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by Landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. And there's still that tall neck nearby. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the CO made play dress up. I can. Ooh, a crab. Or a lobster. No, I don't want to destroy it, I just want to kill it. So Pharaoh tried to make himself immortal. And in doing so, he turned himself into a monster. Man, I was really hoping to see the monster he turned himself into. Another lobster. Give me the lobster. Nice. That's like the sea's landfall. So it's to my left. Or that way. Yeah. Do I get back there though? I gotta end up there somehow, don't I? Oh, there was another way around. I swear I tried going this way. Yeah, I need to get out of these clothes. I look ridiculous. I don't know why I came here to change, what I only have to do is this. Check all my new stuff out. I know I still have more coils and waves. Lobster now. Got seven. Oh, I can finally do this last upgrade for her. Nice. Infill Master and Trapper are all. All leveled up. Okay. 
This will need more than, this will need at least three, huh? Oh, no, that one's all the way leveled up. Alright, I'll probably work on Survivor next. I need anything. Blast plate near. I probably don't. Oh, I do have blast plate. Oh, that's better. What about my workbench? Can I do any upgrades? You know, I'm still reeling over the fact that I just saw a giant. Monument to Ted Pharaoh. I don't know how to feel about it. I beg you. No, no, I believe in wisdom. Alright. I'll come back for these um, side quests later. Alright, let's go back to the base then. Well, don't know why I did that. What's over here then? What's this? A new quest. Let's go back to the face base and find out what's gonna happen. I still can't believe. <laughs> uh, I honestly thought I could f jump on that statue. If they were gonna make that, they shouldn't have put that there. I'm just, because, like, that's the first thing I saw. Like, there's a path to my left. I can probably jump on that statue. I can't believe Ted Pharaoh built an Egyptian-like pyramid to himself. And then turned himself into a monster. I really wanted to see what he looked like, though. I'm kind of... I'm annoyed I didn't get to see what he, he turned out to look like. This has been a strange journey. Like, I don't even know how to process the information of what I just had to do. I didn't have to go through. Welcome back. Aloy, hey, I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Of course we do. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your sub-functions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. 35 and hours? This is the risk of detection by the Zeniths. That's... that's a whole day. The two overrides. 
what if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. That is a lot! Okay. That is like... Varl, it looks like... I don't even know. Beta, 35 divided by... Do you think you can convince two? Me? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. Is like 13... And a half? Are the no. pulse generators ready? Only Twelve and a half? I am confident that if so that's like, in proximity to other that's like less than a quarter of the time. Mask our activities at Gemini from the Zenith. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, you better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Oh, what now? Okay. It's just an ever-ending thing with these people. tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back, alone, in a cell again? A slave. Forever. Uh... Don't wanna... I wanna either go look at the odds or find your courage. The only way we can end the risk of that happening is by stopping the Zenus for good. And in order to do that, we have to get Hephaestus. The Zenus are a threat to everyone, Beta, not just you. So find your courage. That's easy for you to say. You still have no idea what they're capable of. I told you from the beginning we'll never beat them. It's hopeless. Slap her. You don't understand! That armor keeps glitching out and it's really bothering me. You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned, and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect? Frost. He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. 
but then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. Oh my god, right. finally. I'll only be safe from them when we succeed. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? I will kill you. That's fine with me. Okay. I'm totally down. I totally promise. done with you. I promise. I, I don't know why I don't like you can get beta so much. March to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. mission yet. found a spot. Aloy! Right to work, I see. There's just so much. I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, yeah, she's big, amazing! Big mommy Gaia. And you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of course, not like the um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there. Turned from beyond the stars. Of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. And then there's Hephaestus. And okay, okay. How about we take it one step at a time? I'm so glad there's yeah. someone other technologically I inclined in this group. An explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. Yeah, you do. Oh, and. Uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. Oh my god, there's so much. Back at the greenhouse, you spoke of knowledge forbidden to your people. Diviners are meant to seek out the truth in the legacy. And many Imperials sponsor them in the hopes they'll find something the Empire can put to use. Thus gaining favor with the Emperor. But the Board of Overseers claims certain truths are detrimental to the stability of the Empire. Like discovering one of our revered ancestors ended the world. That is why Diviners are only allowed to access segments of the Legacy. Only Overseers can view it all. It ensures that any heretical data can be contained and retrieved before it can spread. What happens to Diviners who break the rules? I never had the courage to ask. 
They probably are murdered. You mentioned the reason you came here was to help your family. Your sister... Her name is Alika. Our parents are commoners. Peasants, really. When I passed the divination exams, they were so proud. It brought honor to our family and increased rations. Only Alika begged me not to leave for the research academy. Why? What happens there? Alika knew that once you enter, you're not allowed to leave or see anyone. Not even your family. Uh, unless you can get special permission and an escort by an overseer. That sounds harsh. Like the focuses we keep, diviners are few in number, and the Empire is... Well, fearful that outsiders will try to steal our knowledge. Last time I was allowed to see my family was just before our voyage here. Because of my position, I was able to get them refuge from the floods within the capital. But if our crops don't recover soon, they'll starve to death along with everyone else. I promise I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't come to that. So where exactly are they the from then? Because they came across the ocean. Call the old ones? Yes and no. Twice. The ancestors are the greatest of the old ones. Those whose legacy taught us agriculture, medicine, warfare, leadership, and patronage of the science and arts. The CEO called Elizabeth Sobek an assistant. What's that about? Right. Well, any old one who has made minor contributions or worked extensively under one of the ancestors is called an assistant. That's how we thought of Sobek until we met you. Our limited access to data past the late 2040s has obviously uh, misinformed our view of the past. Yeah. You could say that. You me an explanation for what happened in Thebes. I'm listening. Right. I'll start at the beginning with the CEO. He was an Imperial, the Emperor's nephew, in fact. As such, he sponsored many diviners to search the legacy for anything that might help the tribe, and himself. He took a special interest in anything related to Ted Farrow, whom we consider the greatest of the ancestors. Ted Farrow, revered ancestor. It's tough to take. I know better now, of course. Anyway, the Diviners discovered that Pharaoh spent a great deal of time in San Francisco. In fact, many of the most important ancestors did. So the Emperor's nephew convinced him that an expedition across the ocean might solve our most pressing problems. If only we could find the right data in this fabled city. Perhaps we could roll back the floods and storms that threatened our people. The Emperor declared that all the tribe's resources be poured into this endeavor. Dozens of ships were built, scouting missions were dispatched, and the Emperor's nephew was named Sio, one who wields the legacy for the good of the Empire. The living embodiment of Ted Farrow, a renewer. It may seem strange now, but for a time, he carried all of our hopes. We really believed he would save us. We had no idea just how perilous the journey would be. And how insane this man was. You said the expedition across the sea was more dangerous than you thought it would be. What happened? We lost most of our ships to hurricanes, and scores of soldiers perished to hunger and disease. And that was before we even hit the coast. Once we landed, machines ripped our patrols apart, and we struggled to replenish our rations. There were bright spots, to be sure. We found Thebes and the greenhouse. But nothing improved the CEO's mood as his dreams of saving the tribe were slowly dashed. He became more and more obsessed with Thebes and what lay behind its door. And more and more convinced She talks that the tribe like was she's no mere reading you heard him reading a book. I think that's, about Pharaoh's I think that's what I finally figured out becoming. why the way she talks these weren't the words of a saint to me. But he was quick to put any who spoke out in front of a firing squad. What a great guy. The Quen are wrong about many things when it comes to the legacy. I can see that now. But what the CO became was a complete perversion of what principal diviners stand for. The pursuit of truth. I'm sorry you had to endure his madness. I'm 
I'm just glad it's over. So, Bohai, your overseer, will he run things better than Sio? He won't execute people on a whim, if that's what you mean. But he's hardly a paragon of integrity. I can't tell you how many times he took credit for data in the legacy that I uncovered. The best thing I can say about him is that he can be trusted to always do what's best for him. Yep, sounds about right. All these guys are douches. Uh, let's see what she needs help you with. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So, where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is, well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. Well then. I should go. Of course. Before you do, is everything all right? It sounded like there was an issue with Beta and the mission? Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. Sure. And, like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. Alrighty then. Oh, look at that. Anywho, I think that's a good place to end this session. I did quite a bit, which is nice. I was like getting a lot done. I know that. But if there were two of me walking around, I'd run for the hills and never look back. Come on, I'm being serious. So am I. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. Next time, it looks like we're going to be getting shit, re shit done to get Hephaestus, so I'm really looking forward to that. I can't believe how much of this game is still left. That makes no sense.